Hi everyone, how's it going? Well, today I decided to talk about the tripod and the video head that I have. I'm going to talk about their features, why I chose them, and why I'm so satisfied with them. This is going to be about the tripod and the video head that I have, which can be used both for videography, photography, and especially wildlife. Well, right here, um, you can see the Jitso. The model is called GT2532S. Well, I'm so satisfied with this tripod here and the reason why I chose this tripod is because it does not have a center column in here. And as you can see, the base of the monopod, sorry, the base of the tripod is really wide. So this is much more uh, stabilized in comparison to uh, other tripod that you can buy in the market. You can just open this up real wide and it's going to be very useful for low angle photography. And on top of that, it is really, really easy to um, open this up and close the legs thanks to the system of the Jitso. And there's also a hook in here, which you can actually hang, for example, your photography bag to make it heavier and to make it more uh, stable. So on top of that, I have right now the Manfrotto flute head. This is the uh, one of the most recent flute heads that Manfrotto introduced. This is a video flute head. Well, this is popular amongst the videography guys, but I also highly recommend this for shooting uh, pictures or photo for photographers as well. I highly recommend this. The reason behind that is since you all know, I'm using a 300 millimeters Nikon 2.8, 3.5 kilograms lens we are talking about here, and it's heavy. Usually, once you have a heavy telephoto lens like that, uh, you would be recommended to buy gimbal hats. And Wimberly gimbal hats, or Manfrotto, I think, also has another one which is not the same thing as the Wimberly ones. Wimberly ones are much more popular. And there's one thing about them, I'm talking about the Wimberly ones, they are really expensive. Um, I have seen ones starting from $500, and this costs around $180. Um, it's like one third of the price almost, and it does a fantastic job because it has a counterweight and you can actually adjust the friction by twisting these. You can arrange the friction, which is actually the reaction to it. As you can see, it's really tight right now. I cannot move it up and down. Um, it also has locks to, if you want to make it totally stable. So for, the, for photography, let's say you want to take a landscape picture. There's locks in here. One of them is in here and the other one is right in here. So once you, lock, once you lock them in place, you're going to be good for photography, but when you're doing videography, you will need to tilt and pan, which is crucial. And once you have heavy gear on top of it, uh, it is a very welcome addition to have a friction control system. Plus it has a counterweight, which is around, I think, four and a half kgs. So once you uh, leave a telephoto on this, Let's say you forgot to tighten this up and it's all loose. For example, you forgot it and you left your lens. Your lens is going to slowly go down. So this is going to protect your uh, expensive lens. That's why the counter balance, the counterweight um, in a video head is really important. So you should check that out. And for the price, I highly recommend this. It's got this um, flute system, as the Manfrotto claims it. Um, the flute system is making it really easy to make really fine adjustments with the friction control. You can easily pan and tilt. And also you can take this thing out right here. Especially when you're using a tele lens, this is coming in the way. So I highly recommend taking this off when you are using a tele lens. I don't have a tele lens right now. Um, imagine you have a long lens in here, you are shooting in here, so you don't want this to 
be, you know, in front of you. You just want to be as close as possible. So let me show you how it's also um, getting really low. So as you can see, this is, you know, as low as you can go. And this is really low. Imagine like you have a telephoto lens in here. And you know that low angle photography is really amazing. You can capture some amazing blurry uh, floor where the you know animal pops out and you can have a really um, 3D like picture. The reason why you should not ever buy a ball hat, especially for wildlife photography when you need to use telephoto lenses, heavy lenses, um, because the ball head is going to wobble uh, because of the weight of the lens and since this doesn't move all around like a ball head it just moves up and down and to the sides this is going to be real easy i mean check this out look at how how easy it is to you know bring it into any kind of angle that you want to thanks for watching everyone Please subscribe, comment and share.